Yes, it is the road to the Stanley Cup, and it kicks off tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as the officials lost sight of the puck. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he shut the door on that last play. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Konechny. And he puts it away to make the save. Gets it over to Thompson. New York's got a hold of the puck. Long lead pass into the open ice. Shot makes a save. Quick feed to Pretoria. And another save. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Slides it quickly to Faraby. The Flyers played along the wing. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. And they'll go off for a change after dumping it in. Here's a short pass to Konechny. Shot! Scores! Well, was that quick enough for you? Yeah, it was quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops. And putting one in early, that's the best way to get it done. Now your opponent's chasing the game. When you get the first goal of a playoff series, you're starting it off sending a clear message that you want it. The Islanders were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they establish some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Passes it over to Trysdale. bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Flyers have had plenty of looks here to start this one, but they still trail in the first. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Moose to Horvath. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. The Islanders win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Puck is frozen, and we'll hit a face-off. Still lots of time left in the period. The Islanders have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck over. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over. And that was off a player in front. New York's crossed the line and on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot! Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the glove. Setters gliding up to the face-off dots here. Pachos won a big draw in their own end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Poked away in the defensive end. Pulak stick-handling in his own zone. 
inside the offensive end, now down the left. And he makes the easy save. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Here's the puck. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here with this pressure. Here 
rated number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Philadelphia's had a strong first period, James. I mean, they own the puck. They managed it well. They just weren't able to convert as many times as they wanted to. If they can trust the process and continue those habits, they'll get back in the game. The Flyers win the defensive zone faceoff. Fires it on net, and that's turned aside by Hart. Here's a short pass to Drysdale. They've got numbers here. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Nelson's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Couturier. He grabs the puck here at the point. New York's got control of it now from their own end. That opportunity is rejected. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Picking up some steam at center ice. Odd man rush. Shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Great feed from the left side. Gaining steam here on the attack. That goes off a twig. Picked up along the wall by Walker. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Scores! It's in the back of the net. It's incredible to watch this play because he's got such a silky set of hands, but they are fast. But then he also has the patience to go along with it. And because of it, he's able to deke the goaltender out and put it in the back of the net. New York's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Comes up with a steal. Carries it across the line. Denied by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Islanders continue to be the more active team here early in the second and they lead as a result. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Philadelphia is going to play it to the corner. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Flyers finally have something to build on here in period number two. That's one of the only shifts this period where they drove the net and they've attacked James. They've got to find a way to possess the puck and get more shots on net. They've been outshot this period. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Sends it in on the attack. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Angles it over to Engvall. Along the half wall with the puck. And he takes the pass. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Cates works the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Hathaway. Handles the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. of where the goaltender was in the net, not sealed to the post, and he just throws it to the net from below the goal line and gets rewarded for it. It's unexpected, but it does the job. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this.
this one. And they win that draw at center. Moves it quickly over to Couturier. The Islanders gain the zone. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Faraday's got it against the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, a club save and a beauty. Kellick's an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys, and that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick em up zone ability, and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. Handles it along the blue line. From the slot, wrist shot. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Past the halfway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Horvath's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. New York's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance in front, and it's blocked. And he had the answer on that play. Hart's dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Oh, what a stop by Sorokin! Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Philadelphia's got it in the offensive zone. He was totally locked in on that play. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Slides it on over to Lee. Oh, he got blocked right into the pinch. Oh, and this was perfect, so you've got to be aware of where you are on the ice, especially when you're near your opponent's bench, and now he is on the other side of it. Man, he's got to pick his head up and get out of there. Takes it at center. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And the puck leaves the zone. Sazikas has it in the defensive end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And he turns that one aside. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Puck scooped up by Paul Mary. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Takes the shot. Comes up with a monster save in front. Oh, he'll feel that one. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. The Flyers win the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Lawton. Stops that one. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Flyers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Takes that one right in the logo. Steps in and takes the puck. Drives it to the crease. Drills him. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Lawton's got it along the wing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Paul Mary. Oh, what a save!
sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Philadelphia's got it across the line. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Mayfield. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Sexy pass in front. And that's stopped. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. It's going to throw that to 80s hockey here and we are underway here in the third. Some solid defensive work in the row man with the poke check. The Islanders played along the boards. Pat save and he made it look easy. Great job there. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a tie game. The Islanders win that offensive zone faceoff. And he was ready for that one. Here's a short pass to Marcel. Sends the pass over. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. One way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Turned aside with the glove by Hart. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Flyers win the draw here in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Barzell. The Flyers have it from their own end. On the attack along the boards. after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Now he takes it over the line. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Islanders cross the blue line and are on the attack. Great poke by Nelson, and it's kicked away. Passes on over to Sandheim, and he slides it quickly to Drysdale. New York's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Oh, how did he keep it out? Sorokin tries to feed it over to Walker. Tipped off by Pellick. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. The Islanders have it against the wall. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Here's a race for the loose puck. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Tosses it to Horvath. Great save by Hart. Let's one go. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hart. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Great pressure on the offensive end by Holmstrom. And that's a smart heads-up play by Lawton. 
The Flyers looking against the half wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Philadelphia's top trio continues to impress James. They've had a lot of motion in the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun showing that chemistry, a lot of zip. And they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Couturier. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. He got all of that hit. Up along the wing. Puck grab by Forster. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. <laughs> Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. I like that the shooter has a mentality, just shoot it right away on the inside of the post, just recognizing that there was enough of an opening, and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. Philadelphia has extended the lead to two goals now in this third period. Oh, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. I think everyone can exhale with that two-goal cushion now, but it, it's also about staying aggressive. Listen, if you have the puck, your opponent doesn't, and they can't be a threat. And that's intercepted by Sasekis. Moves it quickly over to Martin. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Hart's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Works it across to Delorier. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Here in the back half of this period, the Flyers have all the momentum right now, leading by two. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Dumps it in. The Flyers gain possession. Slides the puck ahead to Lawton. And he takes the feed. Philadelphia's got the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Cast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Konechny's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. New York's got the puck in their own end. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Slides it diagonally to York. And that's deflected. Can't keep a hold of it. New York's moving it into the offensive end. Quick shot! Big save in front! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Couturier. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Huge stop by Hart. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Chance at an empty netter here. Doesn't go. Scores into the empty net. Parker, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your game. Oh, yeah. This guy's on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, this Celebrated. I was down it. Hell, it gets pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. That's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter. And it's the dying minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. The Islanders coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Here's a shot. Looks Puck 
possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Flyers come up with the defensive zone draw. Handles the puck. With possession along the wall. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Slides the puck over. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of the series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.